Welcome back to our series on screen time and children. This is part three and the topic is minimizing harm. Remember from part two that too much screen time can harm children in multiple ways, but not all screen time is equal. While the American Academy of Pediatrics used to give an amount of time that children should be behind screens, they no longer do so. Instead, they recommend that each family make a plan that seems reasonable to them. So let's highlight six ways to minimize harm from excessive screen time. Way number one is to track the screen time you and your family engages in per day. This is helpful to set a baseline and determine how you feel about the amount of time you're currently spending behind a screen. And in the end, it's a good strategy to match screen time with other types of activities. To help parents come up with a plan, the American Academy of Pediatrics has developed on their website what's called a family media plan. This is easy to find with a simple search. And while I'm not a proponent of any certain website, this particular plan structure asks some good questions and promotes thinking about screen time as a family. So I recommend taking a look at this. Some other ways to minimize harm from too much screen time is for parents to model the behaviors you want to see in your children. Young children obviously learn the most from their parents. It's not as much what we say as it is what we do. So we need to make a habit of putting limits on our own screen time as an example to our children. Number three, we should as a family develop some screen free times. The obvious one is meal time. But then it's also important to think about a family evening curfew where the screens are set aside. And there may be other family time that's important to have everybody engaged in. So think about what those free times might be for your family. Number four, monitor what children download on devices. What you allow should be age appropriate and consistent with your family's values, but it's important to monitor what they're watching, what they're doing, and at times to watch and engage in screen time with your child. Number five, please emphasize sleep. Remove all screens from bedrooms and limit screen activities an hour before bedtime. This goes back to the topic from session two about melatonin and not wanting to inhibit that hormone from getting us and keeping us asleep at night. And way number six is to emphasize health. Promote activities with face-to-face -face interactions. Again, like we said in the last session, kids learn best face-to-face, -to -face, whether in play, whether in conversation, whether in learning. Promote doing something active during screen time. Promote reading an actual book or playing a board game or a card game. Promote physical activities like sports and clubs and outdoor play, which goes along with face-to-face -face interactions. And of course, if we're gonna combat obesity, as talked about in session two, we need to limit eating during screen time. Again, I want to acknowledge that sources for this series are varied and they were put together by Mrs. Gress. Our fourth part and shortest part will be about parental controls.